Okay, man, we're gonna go ahead and make the final bend here. So, we'll go ahead and fire this bad boy up. What you usually do is you just want to kind of follow the mark that you made with the pencil. They, I, I heard another video, I think the Primo Chill video, suggests using like a wax pen uh, or pencil, um, which is something I should probably invest in myself. But I don't know, I haven't had any issues with the pencil markings. Usually they rub right out and they aren't very visible. Uh, sometimes they're going to get stuck in it, but um, I actually cleared off at of that time. I have had a few instances where the pencil did kind of stay in. So, you know, you may want to be a little bit careful of that, but um, for the most part, uh, it, brush, it rubs out fairly, fairly easy. So this part is taking a little bit longer. Taking some time. Let's start and bend it a little bit. up a little bit more. Okay, now it's really starting to go. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. So we're going to bend this guy this way. And we want to make sure that that thing stays steady. Looks like it's going to be pretty good. Nice and clean bend there. Hope you guys can see okay. Yeah, in the other video or some of the footage that you'll see, I have the one of the bars going this way, but. Yeah, either way works. I mean, with the more complicated angles and bends, you're definitely going to want to get more of the other, because there's another bracket that comes with it that you can put together. I think some of the other footage that I have, you should have see kind of how it's all put together there. But, um, yeah, this looks like it needs to be bent in just a tad bit more. Sometimes I like to just bend it a little bit more aggressively just to make sure the bend holds. Okay, yeah, 
looks a little bit better. Okay. And there you go. Let me go ahead and drop that into the water just to make it cool. Yeah. So that's that's better. Okay, so that's the bend. So it'll come out of the radiator, out, down, into the monoblock. And that looks good to me. There you go. Nice clean bends. Everything looks good. I may want to bend this guy down a little bit. Yeah. But for the most part, that looks fairly decent. So I'll probably just heat up a few of these edges here and kind of bend everything just to make sure. And that's the thing about PETG, man, is that it's very malleable, malleable. And if something that you don't like, or if something comes out in a way that you don't necessarily like, you just tweak it. Obviously, you don't want to heat it up too much. The good thing about the water too is that the moment you kind of put it in there, it pretty much gets pretty solid. Okay, I'm going to test this out in my build. So, yeah, this one needs to come in a little bit more. But uh, for the most part, that looks good. Okay, I could work with that. All right, so there's pretty much the final product. Um, I'm going to squeeze it into the build and see if it works out fine. But um, Anyway, hopefully this uh, helps build a little bit more of your confidence, and then I'll get you some more uh, kind of wrap-up video here in just a second. Okay, so yeah, I just um, I just confirmed that this thing will fit just fine. I have to do a little bit of trimming on the ends there, uh, but it should be just fine. And then um, you'll actually see some finished footage of everything installed at a later point here, but. Uh, that's it. That's uh, probably one of my better bends, even better than this guy that I just did and the, uh, some of the other footage that you've seen. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. But uh, yeah, thanks again for joining the video. Um, and make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so for more updates and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully you learned something. Hope you got some value out of it. Um, you know, if you have any questions or comments, again, just uh, leave them below. Thanks again.